we're going to make now is just a really short video on just on how to use Acrobat to create a PDF from individual PDFs or if you already have a PDF how to add pages to it so what you need all computers come with Acrobat Reader everything will have it but this is through Acrobat Pro and if you have the Creative Cloud software you will have Acrobat Pro or you'll be able to download it so please note there is two types of Acrobat there's Acrobat Pro which has all these tools and Reader which has some of them but not all of them okay so what you you need to open up this one which is Acrobat Pro okay and it's just a normal interface this is the new one but they're all quite similar what you want to do the first one we'll do is in one of our units you would have made a bunch of PDFs out of Illustrator and you will just have individual PDFs and you want to join them into one document so if you click on tools here okay it opens up this stuff there's all sorts of things you can do but you want to combine files and this is a really simple way to do it I've got a bunch of PDFs here so this one I've got three individual pages so hold command down get all three of those drag them into here okay that puts the things there that you need to do and if you say combined it literally will make so if you click on the pages, a three page PDF. Okay, so if we want this one to go at the end, this guy we can drag down, we can drag this down to here, move the order, do whatever we want, and then just say save, and that's one's done. Okay, that's the first PDF. So you can combine a bunch together and you can put them. If you've forgotten to do one, you can click in here. You can right click or control click and say insert pages from file. You can go in, you can grab any sort of page anywhere, so we right clicked insert page from file you want it before or after page one two three four you can first page last page however you want to do it go okay and that will put that in there you've noticed that that's a landscape a4 this is um, portrait they still work you can have any type of format you want if you don't want that page or if you want to delete this one right click on that delete page there's all sorts of things you can do by clicking on the page so delete page okay yep so if we close that PDF here that will say do you want to save it and yes and it just becomes a normal PDF okay that's one the other way I've got one that I made earlier out of InDesign a multi-page PDF so this is it here if you don't have the stuff down the side there's a tiny little arrow there just click on that and it will open up this click on the page tool and that's where you get your thumbnails okay same deal this is just this will be your visual diary you've got all your different pages if you've made some changes to page two and if you want to change it you can delete right clicking delete on page selected page two you can see that's gone okay so ins there right click insert insert pages oops sorry insert from file and you can just go to any one of these ones Okay, we want page two, page one, random picture of my daughter and a dog in the water. That's it. So you want that one and you want this one to go up here now. Okay, so this will run up here. That's it. One, two, three, and you're done. One trick for this, when you're viewing a PDF or want to show somebody, if you say view, full screen mode or command L, it's a really nice way to view these. And then you can just arrow down through each page okay up or down and it will go to each page hit return or escape or escape and you'll come out of that that's it you'll do a lot of visual diaries for a lot of applications but that's how you do it so one you'll make them directly out of InDesign a multiple page document but some you might make out of InDesign you might make them out of Word PowerPoint you can make a PDF from a lot of things you have all individual PDFs and you'll just throw them all together in one big document at the end okay thank you